So finally, we can install Delta emulator that is being used to play whole games on the iPhone. But unfortunately, if you are from Europe, you cannot download it on your iPhone or maybe you can. Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. Today, we're going to see the newest app that's been released. I mean, it haven't been released right now, but it's been around for like a few years now. But with the introduction of the newest iOS 17.4 and the option to install alternative stores, right now it is possible to download Delta Emulator. Unfortunately, as I said in the intro, if you live in Europe like me, you will not and you cannot find Delta Emulator on the App Store yet. So you have to use alternative stores. And here it comes handy an app called Alt Stores, where you can sort of sideload some apps. So it is an alternative source. And if I search for Alt Store right here, I have it already installed. So just make sure to search on Google Alt Store and check how to install it on your iPhone. There is a version called Alt Store PAL that's been released specifically for Europe, but you have to pay like a dollar and a half for a subscription. It is yearly subscription, so it is not that much. I mean, it's just less than two dollars. So if you want to download Delta emulator, just pay for the Alt Store subscription. In Europe, they couldn't release a free version, we can say, of the Delta emulators because the App Store in Europe just charge the app like a few cents for every download. So it wasn't that convenient, but paying this subscription makes the emulator free also in Europe. So make sure to Google Alt Store and just install it on your iPhone. Once you have the app downloaded, just open it and just go into browse. So the first apps that you're going to see, it is Delta. So just make sure to hit the install button and you will just download and install the emulator. Very, very easy. When you have downloaded the app, just click the open button, of course, and then the emulator will say you have no games, of course because the emulator just needs some files that are called ROMs. Here also, I can suggest you to search on Google some ROMs because there are a lot of websites where you can download them. Just make sure to check the emulator's supporting files. And from what I know, the emulator supports right now a lot of old consoles like GBA, GBC, NES, SNES, and also Nintendo DS. So there are a lot of console, so make sure to go on into Delta emulator page and just search for the compatible ROMs files. In my case, I've just downloaded some ROMs from GBA and Nintendo DS. So I will show you how to install it and run the games into the Delta emulator. So once you open the app, just click this plus button right here on top. Just click it and just search the file in the files, of course. So just click files and I have my files downloaded into the iCloud drive. I just made two folders. One, it is for the GBA ROMs and the other one is for the NDS ROMs. So that's it. You can just select the ROMs that you want to install to, into your emulator, just as I did right now, and then just click the open button. And then you can see the GBA games are just loaded and ready to go into our emulator. So for example, just start the game Super Mario right here. And then if you cannot hear the volume, just make sure to enable the sound on your on your iPhone because you will not hear anything. And you can see the game just runs very, very smoothly without any problem. And it is very, very fast to load too. We can skip that. We can just try to do some plays. We can skip that, of course. Just go for only Mario. Then you can see it is working very, very good. As you can see, very, very, it's working super good and it's very, very smooth actually. And this is very, very fun. Actually, the resolution on the game, it is very good too. It could be maybe upscaled a little bit because Actually, the resolution for a Game Boy Advance game, it is very good in my opinion. And the touch controls are working very good. They are responsive. 
there is pretty much no lag. You hit, uh, you hit the button and you will feel just a little small vibration when you hit any button on the on the touch controls. Then to go back, of course, just go into main, into the main menu, and here you will find also some option of the emulator. So you can, of course, save the game. You can load the game. You can use cheat codes. So if you click here, you can add maybe some cheat codes and you will find them here. Then you can just press the cheat code and it will activate on the game, of course. You can use the hold button function. So it's very simple. You click there and then you click the button that should be hold. So in this case, I will choose the B button and then I will click the menu to finish the customization. Then if I resume, the B button will be holded. So it is it is very convenient in Super Mario because you know that you should hold the B button to get Mario running. So it is very convenient in this case. Very cool feature in my opinion. Then you can go into main menu and then you will go back into the ROM library of your emulator. For example, we can try, of course, a Pokemon game because, I mean, the Game Boy, it is famous for that. So we will start a game here on the on this Pokemon game. Just skip everything, of course. I'm not gonna go through all that because it is very, very long, but you can see that it is working, that Pokemon is working too. Then let's try to emulate some Nintendo DS games. So just go into our folder right here. Just load, just load some Nintendo DS games. Just hit the open button. And then here it will automatically categorize the games because as you can see, we have two pages right here. And one is for GBA and the other one is for the, the, the Nintendo DS. So for example, here, just try to play Animal Crossing and you will notice that it will say missing required DS files. So in this case, for this emulation, it is a little bit different. So just click into import files and you will see that it requires some DS BIOS files. So these are the three files required. And here too, you have to do a little research on the web and search for these three files. I mean, they are not too hard to find on Google, but just search for these three files. Then you can click on this required. I've just copied them into my NTS folder. So we will select them like this, BIOS 7, BIOS 9, and then the firmware, the firmware files right here. And then we hit done like this. Then you have noticed that it appeared another application we can say, and it says home screen. We will see that in a bit, but for now, just start the Animal Crossing. And you will see also that it requires the access to the microphone, because if you remember, if you ever played on the Nintendo DS, you know that you can use also your microphone in game because some games just enable this feature that was very, very cool at the time. So just hit allow, of course, and then that's it. I mean, the game will run in vertical, as you can see, and it's working very, very good. You can also play in horizontal, but I mean, the displays are too small in my opinion. So just play in vertical and you will have pretty much no problem. So just start the game, just hit new game. And as the Game Boy Advance game, these are working very, very good too. As you can see, no stutter, no lags, no everything. So very, very cool in my opinion. But then let's go back into main menu and then let's see what this home screen can do. So if you hit the home screen button right here, it should play the home screen of the Nintendo DS where you can find like the app to draw and all that stuff that you could find when you turn on when you turn on the Nintendo DS. But in my case, it doesn't work. I don't know why. Maybe I will try to fix them maybe in the future, but it's no big issue because you cannot do anything with that feature. So you just need to play these games. So <laughs> no problem on that. But let me know down below in the comments if you had the same problem, if you try to install this Delta emulator, because I think for now it is only my problem. So for this video, that's been pretty much it. If you did like it, just hit a like down below. And if you need any help to install the Delta emulator, or if you have some question, just type it down below in the comments. But just make sure to subscribe to this channel down below if you haven't already. That being said, 
As always, thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.